Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. I'm going to be revealing Piff the Magic Dragon's trick that he performed on the results show of America's Got Talent. Guys, he performed it. It was a pretty interesting trick with, uh, you know, Piff the Magic Dragon. You know, pretty funny. It's almost like he's trying to be a little bit more funny than even doing magic, but we're still revealing it. Now, guys, before we get into it, couple things. If you guys are interested in getting some free gift cards, all you have to do is click the link in the description for free my apps. Click that link, download free apps, you guys can get free gift cards. Also, guys, we are doing an $80 Amazon gift card giveaway for August. So we're giving away $80 in Amazon gift cards in August. So if you guys want to be entered, all you have to do is make sure you have to like this video, you have to be subscribed to the channel, notifications have to be on, and you have to comment one time, guys, that's it, one time, on one video, what do you like about our channel or that specific video? Commenting more times will not help your chances. All right, guys, just comment one time. That's it. Something like about our channel, that specific video, you'll be entered. And the giveaway ends at the end of August, last day of August. We will post it that day. So, you guys, this trick, it's very, it's very interesting. Also, guys, if you guys, make sure you check out the rest of our America's Got Talent reveal videos. And also, if you guys didn't know, we normally post card tricks, but so you can check out our channel for card tricks too. So let's get into the re reveal here. So guys, here we have a whiteboard and a marker, and we're going to get into this a little bit later. But we have to po point out some stuff. First of all, the dog cannot actually draw. All right, guys, let's be real here. This dog cannot actually draw. You know, an Eiffel Tower, a giraffe, you know, and write out the name Gene almost perfectly. Like, literally perfectly. Like, it's crazy. So, there's no way a dog can do this. Let's be real here, guys. There's no way this dog can do this. And, um, yeah, let's get to the next thing. Now, some of you guys might think, well, what if there is a person under the table? Well, that's very unrealistic because... If you look at the bottom of the table, there's no way a person can even fit in there. Guys, let's be real. There's no person under the table because no one can even fit in there. But it would be realistic that they can draw it. But it's not realistic that they can fit in that very small table. And you can even see under it. You guys get the point. There's no person there. Now, some other people might think, you know, there's there's a switch. Maybe, maybe Piff has a drawing somewhere else and, you know, there's a switch or something. But guys, there really is no switch. Maybe his assistant tried to do something. But really, guys, there was no need for a switch. Now, also, two things, a couple things to point out. He did mess up. Twice, actually. He messed up two times. Now, one of them was his drawing of the giraffe. Now, now, um, um, one of the judges said, you know, underwear or, un, you know, underpants. Well, there was a scarf, if you guys want to call it, on the top of the giraffe's neck. That doesn't really look like, um, you know, underpants to me, guys. It sort of looked like a scarf almost, but that was clearly not underpants. It wouldn't be in that position on the giraffe because that would just be a scarf. It's at the top of the giraffe's neck, so make sure you pay attention to that. Also, another thing to point out is he messed up again because before the, when the dog uh, started you know, drawing, supposedly, he didn't even give the dog the marker yet. So that's another thing that can help us out here, that, you know, the dog is drawing without a marker, and he just says, oh, he just plays it off, you know, uh, my dog has its own marker. You guys get the point. So that's not actually the dog drawing. There's no person, there's no switch, and he does mess up multiple times. He is a good performer. I, I do like him. He's very funny, but he did mess up because he forgot to just put the uh, marker under the table with the dog and also he didn't uh, have the giraffe drawn right. Now during this whole entire trick you guys will notice that he buys time. He buys a lot of time during this trick. Now before we even get into that we're gonna get into something a little more complicated. You will notice that the whiteboards he's using as you can see here mine is uh, mine's very thin right. So my whiteboard here is very thin and you guys can see that. The two whiteboards he, he was using are extremely thick. Now, they can be examined, all right, guys? They can easily be examined, all right, so that, you know, the judges can look at them or, well, you know, they didn't really look at them that much, but you can see that it's very thick. And why this is, it's actually an electronic 
device almost. So it's an electronic device. Now how this works, you guys can actually look it up and you guys can find it on Google, is it's an electronic writing um, whiteboard. So guys, this can be a whiteboard. This is a whiteboard that's electronic. And how this is going to work is, I'm going to go ahead and draw something here. So here, there would be a person backstage. So we're going to split this whiteboard into two halves. I know it's a little bit hard to see here, guys. But you guys see, we're splitting this whiteboard into two halves. Now, this half is going to be the whiteboard that everyone on stage is seeing. And this half is going to be the device or person backstage. Now, so this right here is going to be the person backstage. And there's going to be a person backstage who's going to be, you know, listening on, in on the trick, guys. You know, watching, you, you know, maybe like a TV live and can hear everything. You know, he hears what the judges are saying. And this person, most likely an artist, most likely, guys, um, is going to be drawing exactly what he's hearing. So he hears a giraffe, so he would be drawing a giraffe. He, so he hears uh, Eiffel, you know, Paris. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Eiffel Tower. You guys get the point. So this person is backstage drawing whatever, you know, whatever he hears. Now, you guys will notice that the drawings are in very, like, pretty good detail. Like, they're in detail, guys. They're, it's no joke. They're in very good detail. So, it would have to be an artist who can draw pretty, you know, pretty quickly, guys. So, this artist can draw pretty quickly, you know, gets the job done fast. And that's why he's, uh, Piffy Magic Dragon is actually buying time. So, let's continue on here. So, this is the person backstage, guys, and this is the electronic whiteboard that everyone else is seeing. So, backstage, let's just say, I'm just going to make this easy, guys. I'm not a very good drawer. So, Basically, the person backstage, let's just say, you know, the sun, right? Someone said, one of the judges said the sun or something. Let's just say that. You know, draw the circle, right? Go ahead, draw the sun, right? This is all happening backstage. And Piff the Magic Dragon, he's having all of the um, action covered under the cloth, guys. Once again, make sure you watch the performance. So... If you haven't watched the performance, this might not make a lot of sense. So make sure you have watched the performance. Forgot to mention that, guys. But yeah, so behind behind scenes, there's this person. He's drawing, right? So let's just say one of the judges named the sun, guys. I'm not a good artist. What happened is the person would draw the sun backstage. Now, on this, what he's drawing it on, it could be anything. It could be a smartphone. It could be like a big iPad or anything like that. It doesn't have to be another whiteboard. It can be any electronic device that where it can, you know, connect with the whiteboards on stage. So it could be, you know, like, like an iPad, for example. You can draw on the iPad, and whatever draws on the iPad appears on stage. So pretend this is, you know, whatever device he's using, probably most likely, once again, guys, an artist. He's drawing it really quickly, and when he's drawing it, right, he's drawing it here, and it will actually appear over here on the other whiteboard or you know you got you guys get the point it's going to appear on the whiteboard the same exact way it's drawn here now guys there's a reason why piff actually draw uh, takes his time and the reason why guys piff takes his time is he has to guys this artist might be a quick drawler right but he needs time to draw these, you know, this Eiffel Tower guys in pretty good detail in this giraffe out he needs to take his time and draw that now, he's taking his time, and Piff is just going to buy him time, buy him a lot of time. Now, one thing you guys will notice is um, is uh, when the person, uh, Heidi, says, uh, my bad there, guys, Gene, right? So Gene, right, the dog starts, you know, writing out the name. And you will actually notice that it's in almost perfect handwriting. It's in very good handwriting, guys, like almost perfect if you look at it pretty closely. It's really, really good handwriting. It actually puts, you know, G-E-N-E. -E, right and then you know he asks how is it spelled and right and it changes so basically this artist backstage is just drawing or writing whatever he needs to draw the whole time and basically piff the magic dra dragon is just buying time for him to draw it all out all right and the noises once again guys it's just to you know make it seem like there's an actual marker there so you know you guys hear that noise all the time. Sometimes when you're writing, you know, you hear the noise, you hear the squeaky. I'm not going to make it, guys. But you hear the squeaking noise, but really it's just like a, um, 
It's just like an audio, you know, it's not actually the actual squeaking noise, it's just someone.